Okay, so here is my lawnmower deck forge. I've taken the hardware off of the lawnmower, wheels and handles and such. Now this is the idea. Take an old junk lawnmower deck. Take this brake drum. Go to your local car shops, automotive dealers, mechanics. They have these laying around all over. I've taken the inside of this deck and cut it, bent it down a little bit. So the idea is the brake drum is going to sit inside the deck like that. Coals are going to go in here. Extra coals are going to go in here. The fire is right there. So as needed, scrape the extra coals from the pot into the brake drum. Now, bottom of the brake drum, I'm going to take those edges, wrap them around the bottom of the brake drum. I got this pipe here. The idea is this pipe goes underneath the brake drum. I used one and a half inch pipe. Because all the two inch pipe I found was galvanized. This is not. One and a half inches ought to be good enough for our airflow. There's a cap here at the bottom uh, for our ash and such. The idea is have the brake drum set up. I'm going to weld this on top of this part. It's very hard to do and hold the camera like such. Alright, I'll be back shortly. I'll also, got some legs. I've cut out some scrap steel. What I'm going to do is weld these legs on here. That way this thing will be freestanding. I'll be back whenever it's set up. Okay, here I've got the brake drum set up. I'm going to clean up these edges here. Put my flange on the bottom of the brake drum. And then the rest of the attachment will screw into there. We'll get this welded on and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got the outside edges of this drum and flange uh, ground up, cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and, and put a couple tacks on there and get that welded on. Okay, we're back. Now that I got the brake drum welded onto the pipes, and we've welded these legs onto the lawnmower deck. It should be ready to. The welding is not the best. It's kind of clumpy, but I think it'll hold. Uh, ready to put the brake drum inside. See what it looks like. Alright, looks like it's good to go. See the little pipe coming out there, that's where the air is going to go. Add some coals here. Pretty sturdy. Yep. Alright, be back when I have a fire lit. Okay, got this old railroad track. I don't have the liberty of having an anvil right this minute. Sucker should be good. Got it up on this old log. This log is too high. I want your, your anvil, top of your anvil, to come up to about the top of your big knuckles when your hands are down by your side here. So, my knuckles are as high as the top of this wood now. 
need to cut off maybe about seven inches or so and I'll be back when that's done I've got my forge prepared and ready um, we should have that sucker lit up shortly as soon as I get this railroad track in place and ready to rock may need to level it out a little bit be right back alright so I've cut my stump off top of the stump so I can put my uh, railroad track anvil on top I've got it at its proper height we're about to get this coal forge started it's a pack of coal I got from Amazon 25 pound bag for like 11 bucks but of course they caught they charge shipping so it ended up being 20 bucks or so 22 dollars about to open that bad boy up um, here's the forge I got a I've got a, um, a blow dryer I'm gonna attach to there got my extension cord here ready to rock put a couple little twigs in there I'll put some lighter fluid and put some coals right here and get it started now I would get going with this thing but the dang freaking storm from hell is coming right when I try to light my forge for the first time the storm in the worst storm in the world no no go away I want to be a blacksmith I'll be back whenever this freaking storm goes away! 